and welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some henchman copy. That's right, we are going a little bit off the wall here today. We are building a deck around Mid and Stoke henchmen and trying to strike our opponent with this because it has Nexus Strike. You summon an exact copy of me, and so that means that that goes right into play an exact copy of whatever the henchman looks like. So this was a donation deck idea, and remember, if you want to see um, anything on stream, it's just a $10 donation. There's a donation link down below for those of y'all watching in YouTube. It's in the in the description. Um, we have another donation deck to play later on today, too. Anyway, this one, though, we're going, um, we're going mostly all PNZ, a small splash of Demacia. Demacia gives us Chain Vest, which is probably the most important thing. Because um, we can grant an ally tough. So we can grant the Mid and Stoke henchman tough. And then whenever we strike and create another henchman, then that second henchman will be tough as well. Because, you know, like it's the exact copy. We can also use standalone. But I I felt like it's going to be kind of difficult to... It's going to be difficult to pull off standalone henchmen, honestly. Because uh, we, we do need to play other units and everything to make sure that we're not dying. And with henchmen costing five mana, it's going to be kind of tough to pull it off. But I think we can. I think we can kind of set it up. You know, like we can do um, like some chump blocks and stuff and set it up so we can play henchmen and standalone and make it make it larger. And then also, um, Demacia gives us a barrier to be able to protect our henchmen. But we want to stay mostly all PNZ. And the reason why we want to stay mostly all PNZ is for some snipe scavenger because this has allegiance in pnz that it creates a sump works map in hand um and so then our sump works map can grant an ally elusive and that's not just until end of turn that's for good so we get to grant the so we can cast that to grant the henchman elusive and therefore once our henchman has elusive then hopefully it's easier to hit the opponent so then you know then it's a 5-3 elusive hit the opponent make another 5-3 elusive and that can be really, really powerful. So, you know, like if we can get this to be, you know, like a 5-3 with elusive and tough, um, that can be pretty awesome. And then, you know, even if we if we stand alone it, man, then and give it elusive and toughness, you know, like we can we can really start going crazy there. Um and uh yeah, so that's that's kind of what our deck is. So like, you know, we're we're very, very heavy on the PNZ because of that. And the so the the other things that PNZ gives us, so it gives us removal because, you know, we need to stay alive and find our henchmen. So we have the removal. We have like Mystic Shot, uh, Thermogenic Beam, Get Excited, um, Static Shock, you know, so we have lots of ways to kill things, stay alive to be able to find it. Plus, it also gives us card advantage, not only Progress Day, but then also um, Rummage. I think Rummage is going to be important to look for um, look for henchmen. And so since we since we're running rummage to try to dig farther to look for henchmen, then we want to play jury rig because uh, it can just be something to, to chump block and gives us something to discard, and also chump lump because we can get the mushroom clouds and discard those mushroom clouds to the rummage so we can dig deeper. All right, so then we're gonna need uh, some other stuff to kind of stay alive and get some card advantage. So then so then uh, besides that, I also have uh, some back alley bar keeps as our other thing. Or back alley barkeep. Whenever it's summoned, you create a random card. Um, you know, if that that random card is good, hopefully, you know, we can we can play it. If not, we can discard it. Uh, it gives us another thing to rummage away. And then finally, we got one hex tech transmogulator. Transform a follower into another follower. We can attack with like a henchman and like a jury rig thing, and maybe they don't block the the jury rig creature, and then we transform the jury rig creature into another henchman and, and hit him by surprise or something like that you know like we can kind of have uh some tricks there with the hex tech transmogulator so that's that's my uh that's my goal with this card here um yeah i feel like if you can if you can pull off the standalone chain vest map it's gonna be really good yeah and I, so i have one extra sump work works sump works map in here as well but i didn't want to just play a whole bunch of these because you know it's not as good of an individual car, but creating them for free is, is better. So no champions. Uh, didn't really find a champion to, to fit in here. Cause I feel like any champion that we play, the games would definitely just start going about the champions. You know, if we play like Heimerdinger or Lux or something like that. So no champions. Um, you know, so it's a budget deck. And 
you know, we'll see. We'll see if we get some wins with the henchmen. That'd be awesome. Hopefully, uh, you know, our opponents, our opponents aren't going to really know what's going on. That's for sure. All right, so let's select our deck. Henchman copy. There it is. Cool. We got our PNZ stuff. Let's go. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely, Blade. Yeah, thank you so much. So, yeah, the 12-hour stream we're going to be doing on Friday. Uh, we'll be doing half um yeah you know, like we'll be doing like our half legends of runeterra stream you'll be streaming like six hours of legends of runeterra like our normal stream day and then we'll be playing the new resident evil 3 that comes out on that that day i'm really excited for that draven jinx we'll get rid of this and i guess the chain vest for now because we need to find you find our creatures and you know, maybe keep the standalone. Maybe I shouldn't be keeping the standalone. Maybe I should discard that too. Hey, Josh. Yeah, we actually we just opened up the vault um, a little bit ago on stream. It's like our first thing that we did, and uh, didn't didn't really get anything interesting. Um, just a whole bunch of uh, shards. Of course I'm ready. Hmm. All right, so Draven, so we're gonna play this discard jury rig, kill Draven. We could also Hmm. Do I just want to make a big... Maybe I just need to make a big scavenger this next turn. Obviously, we're not we're not going to have very much time with this matchup. No one knows these streets like me. So I, I feel like we may just need to go, go all in on the scavenger. Yeah, I do think Heimerdinger is good in this metagame. I think Heimerdinger is a good option at... Um, I think Heimerdinger is good against Ezreal, and you know there's lots of Ezreal around, and I, I think Heimer is. I think Heimer is good in that uh, in that matchup. Are you lost? Can't get through this way. Can I kill them next turn? Yeah. That's my goal, right? Just kill them next turn. Attack for 10 elusive, and then get excited. Oh, I really hope they don't kill me. They probably need to play another Decimate to kill me. Well, I mean, maybe not. They could have just Mystic Shot and get excited. So, I think I need to go to combat so they can't just use Decimate. It's just when do I get excited? The onus is honestly, honestly, the onus is on me to cast to get to kill them first because if I just just hit him for ten, and then uh, if I just hit him for ten and then pass, they can just untap and then attack with these, basically. So while I would like to wait and not, you know, I'd like to respond to their lethal burn with my get excited, but I honestly don't have that ability to. They had double mystic shot. That's too bad. Man, that was so close. See, I don't have that ability to, because they don't have to just, they don't have to just like mystic shots on, on my turn. 
all they all they have to do is just untap and attack with their creatures. So them having the double mystic shot, there's not a way for me to to stay alive. I just have to hope that they needed that they had just another um, four mana burn spell in hand. Um, I'm not sure what the best Heimerdinger deck is. We played with Heimer Lux the other day, and it it was pretty good. Um, with the with the Heimer Lux deck, I do think I, at the time we didn't have three of the two the two one that gives you two spell mana, but I do think you need that card. Fiora Lux. All right, get rid of this. All right, we got our combo. We have to wait till turn five, but turn five, we're going to have henchmen, and then we're going to map it and give it tough. Take a look so that's going to be sweet. Time to get my hands dirty. Well, I mean, how does rummaging for burn help? They're at 13. How am I, how am I supposed to have 13 points of burn? I could have, I could have just hit him for 10 first, and then I still would have had to cast my Get Excited. Um, Flavor, it's spice. Before they did anything, though. I want to kill that, but I don't want to discard any of these things in hand. I mean, I would be discarding either the Barkeep or the Chump Lump, so probably the Chump Lump. No one goes hungry. making life difficult. I'm playing this as a blocker this turn. I think we need to we need to block. Awesome. Been playing the Ash Midrange and Ash Harrowing decks. Cool. Yeah, those are good. Hey, WQ. What's up? Got a lot of people joining in here from the beginning. I, I love it. Thanks, everybody, for, for joining in. All right, let's go. Got our henchmen. You're covered. Of course, doing the toughness first before we would hit and make another copy. Come on. Why 
Why they gotta be like that? Why they gotta be like that? <laughs> My stream's like a clock to you. Good, yeah. I'm just like trying to be consistent. I know, it crushed our dream. Crushed our dream. It's like they're a Demacia deck. They probably won't have a removal, right? No. Hey, what's up, Meaty Ogre? Thank you so much. Yeah, we got your donation, Zach. Up third today. Thanks for that reset. Alright, so Demacia Zed. Let's get rid of the Sumpworks map. Do I... Yo... Yeah, I think we get rid of Static Shock also. And then this thing... Um, that's fine. It's a 4 mana, 4-3. Four, Drew another map. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. So, not using the thermogenic beam right there. So, I wanted to be able to. Um, kill like a, a Zed or something. We should probably kill this. I guess we'll just discard the Sunparks map. You're trying out Teemo today. Pono was at seven life, 48 puff caps in the deck. They drew five cards and only three puff caps. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Shadow Ezreal is a deck I put together today. It's a. It's not broken. It just needs a little love. It's, you know, Ezreal. Combo, but with, um, but with Shadow Isles. This way. So yeah, it's a new deck. We'll play that one later on. That's a great draw. That's a great draw. There we go. There's our henchman. The order the henchman is here. Uh, I feel like I need to keep saving this for Zed. I kind of wish I didn't use this Sumpworks map now, also. Protect and strike. Can't get through this way. What do they got? What are they doing? Radiant Strike. So I could give it tough to have it survive. But then I don't have tough for the henchmen. 
Is that worth it? I think so. I think it's, even though like the tough on the henchmen's our dream, I think this is the right play. I think this is the right play for winning the game. We'll have to wait till next turn. Our next attack to attack with the henchmen. They just passed? Interesting. You won't believe what Kilties throw away. What do they have in hand that they were just passing? I am the blade in the darkness. I guess probably a lot of protection for Zen. No, I don't think my opponent stream sniping. No. Not at all. Alright, next time we're gonna be able to play henchman with map. Um Alright, so this means this is my home um, are you lost so this means I'm trump locking here to make sure that we get in with the henchmen basically so obviously I could have just done the seven seven damage on you know seven mana thermogenic beam on the Zed and then they don't get to attack with it. But by doing this, I don't let them play another unit before my henchman attacks. And so I don't even really need to cast the Sumpworks map, but I want to because I want the next one, you know, it's burst speed. I want the next, you know, the one that we create to also be elusive. We're doing it. We're leaving, living the dream. Ooh, get a four Demacia. So if we four Demacia, they get plus three, plus three this round, and then we hit, then we would get new things that are like that. Mm. No, I should have static shocked. Should have static static shocked earlier. That's perfect. I need no weapons. We'll target that. We'll have this. Uh, target this thing and block here. <clears throat> Alright, we're doing it, the henchmen. We're doing it. Let's go. Uh, that's fast speed. Let's break stuff. Obviously, I could cast the four Demacia first and go for lethal. But... I don't know, that just lets them play something. Like Pre-combat. We don't need lethal, we need more henchmen. More henchmen! Yes! Four henchmen! Awesome. Yeah, now we get to four Demacia them. Let's see. I think I just... Uh, 
I'll block with a barrier. <laughs> yeah, this is the real buffed elusives. We are the real buffed elusives. No, I was gonna transform this one into one. I was gonna, I was gonna transform the four one into another one, and we were gonna have five. The real buffed elusives. All right, we are one and two. That was sweet. We pulled it off. This is my first constructed deck with no champion. It's kind of cool. They're like, "What are you? What are you playing?" And I'm like, "Don't worry about it." Hmm. Standalone barkeep. Let's keep Static Shock. Static Shock either kills like the 2-1 the or it breaks up the barrier. I yeah, I, I built the deck based on the the suggestion from the donation. Discipline and steel. Uh, Barkeep's, yeah, I mean, I said Barkeep's a worse Karma, but yeah, I mean, Karma's a champion. Um, there's, like, ways to make Barkeep better as well. So I think my plan next turn is to have henchmen stand alone. Just let this happen. I wish we had a Sumpworks map. Ugh. Well. No real reason to attack right now. So think about doing jury rig and then five damage to the protege. That plan looks pretty bad against a That plan looks pretty bad against a barrier. Really? Come on. Purify versus the, the henchmen? In the name of our land. That's so mean. That is so mean. What? What's going on? Purify henchmen. Jerk move. This can be useful of making blockers next turn. I could go du double static shock and try to kill both of those. Um, or just play like two chump lumps. 
way too many cards in hand. Um, yeah, I don't really like any option. Any option. Okay. If only Fiora could see me now. She can. She's not impressed. Glory unrelenting. My cards are a little too expensive. You know, like we just can't can't play all these things, like with everything starting at four mana. Too expensive there. GG. Need to mulligan more aggressively. I shouldn't have kept some of those cards that I kept. Need to mulligan more aggressively. Make sure we have things to do on turns one, two, and three. Alright, same matchup. They like pairing us against these Demacia decks. All right, that gives me things to do, turn turn one, two, and then we can do this later. I'm going to mulligan that, actually, though, because we have lots of fours. Like, our deck is filled with fours, and so I think it's it's actually fine to mulligan away. Like, we don't need to keep the four mana card. We're going to find more. I think that's what I, I have. I think I could be mulliganing a little bit more aggressively here. All right, we got henchman map. That's good. We're attacking turns. We're attacking the even turns, though, so we'd have to do this turn six, which is kind of late. I <laughs> know. Why aren't they just letting the henchman? Why? Why don't they just let the henchman hit him? That was sweet. That game that we pulled this off. That was sweet. That was pretty awesome. Okay, good. Jury rig's good. Gives me something good to discard. Four toughness. Bleh. We can save that, you know, we can bank that three mana so we don't need to play it immediately. Alright, so now do I I think I'd cast this. Definitely could see rummaging that's that extra sump works map away, right? Like and just discarding one of them. But I think we we should just cast it and get the elusive unit and start putting some pressure on them with it. Wait, that was bad. What am I doing? I, I need to play henchman. I should have played henchman. What? That was that was a bad turn. I should just let them go to attacks, do that, and then play henchman, and then untap and map the henchman and, and attack right away and not let them play something. Because now they can play a five mana thing that would be able to fight the henchman and then like that and then stand alone. Or sorry, and then uh. 
right. They can do the fight spell now. Yay, they don't have the fight spell. Awesome. Hey, Ravolki. You're covered. Okay, we're starting to do it. Let's get a barkeep for another blocker. Gonna be able to kill one henchman. You can count on me. Nothing stands in our way. Unfortunately. But we're gonna have just one creature left now, right? Yes. Standalone henchman. Standalone elusive henchman. Let's go. Get him. Boom. Another 8 6 elusive. It's happening. A couple eight six elusives. It's good. We have to stay alive. Show them what we're made of. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. A second Cythria. Come on, Mystic Shot. No. For justice. For Demacia. Okay. Um, you know, so basically my options are play play another henchman or, or play progress day. If we play another henchman, we have three blockers, so we can go like block, block, block. That would kill all of my things, but then we're not we're not dead. Um, if we block these two and this, we're taking uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. So any pump of two kills us. So basically, if I play the henchman, then that's that's it. I don't get anything else. So any pump of two or just playing another creature kills us. I don't think that that's good enough because if they just have another creature, we're dead. I think that I need to cast that. And now I'm dead. And look for a burn spell. Yeah, so playing the henchman would have lost. We, we played to our outs. Of drawing, drawing extra cards. Follow my lead. I'm watching you. Feel the sizzle. All we needed was a get excited or or a mystic shot. You know, like we have a lot of get excited and mystic shots in here. That's all we needed. Because yeah, if I if I would have just played the henchman, we would have had three blockers. And so we would have taken 13, so we would have taken lethal. Dang, so close, so close. But we got to live the, the henchman dream a little bit. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't, you know, I didn't have like super high expectations for our deck. This is definitely more of a a jank deck than a, a real competitive one and playing it over in master you know master's rank like it's like those decks are good that we just um that we were just playing playing against like those decks are really really good um and uh but yeah henchman i wish henchman cost like four mana instead of five you know like at five it's just kind of tough it's a little slow 
Um, I was hoping like that that we'd you know have enough like removal and everything, but it didn't really seem like that was the case. There's not really a sweeper to play, like Judgment maybe. Like uh, for for all those matches that we were playing, I wish we were playing Judgment. We kept on playing against those Demacia decks over and over, and you know Judgment would have been nice to to have. Um, I don't I don't think I would put Judgment in here going forward. It's just that's just uh, how those games played out. It would have been nice. I really like Back Alley Barkeep and Chumpwump and Sump Snipe Scavenger. I think all three of those cards are pretty good. I just wish that one of them cost three mana. You know, all of them costing four mana was a feels bad. As far as like something that costs three mana, we could play like a Parade Electro Rig, but I don't. You know, we don't need to shuffle more copies of Henchmen into our deck. That would really only help with like Back Alley Barkeep. Um, we could have like Puffcat Peddler, basically just somebody to block, you know, just being a, a three mana, three, three to block. Uh, besides that, we could use the used cask salesman uh, that could could put some bodies out there to block. But this is kind of difficult to set up because we're not going to have like the other creatures in play. So like whenever, um, whenever it's their turn, they're usually just going to go straight to combat. So I, I didn't go with any of those. Those are ones I was thinking about. You know, those are ones I was looking at. I didn't want to go, um, you know, obviously like there's there's like the three mana cards that are pretty, you know, that you could that you could go with, like even like Vanguard Sergeant. Like Vanguard Sergeant would be better than any of those other options, but you know, I wanted to stay very uh, PNC heavy for the Sump Snipe Scavenger. Um, you know, we need to keep need to keep as many PNC cards as possible. For that thing to so we can create the maps because those are really important at getting the henchman elusive because uh, without with the henchman doesn't have elusive it's gonna it's just kind of too difficult to hit them with the henchman but this was this deck was pretty fun to play and you know if you you know it's it's not going to be um like like a great deck in, in masters um but uh you know you can you can have some some fun games with this especially if you're playing it you know more casually i think this is this is a lot better as a, as a casual deck um and you know you can do some some crazy stuff with henchmen we saw that you know we got like the four henchmen in play that was really cool um yeah i have back alley barkeep to give us a uh, card advantage and just trade and everything like it's it's a good solid card as far as as far as pnz creatures go like there's not I think it's just a better option than other things. Like, that's that's what I was just talking about. But if if you want instead of back alley barkeep, if you want to play like peddler to play something that costs three, um, or just I guess golden crush bot, if you just want want to play golden crush bot to to block, that's that's definitely an option. You can do that instead of back alley barkeep to try to have a three mana card. Guess you could play this thing, this amateur area or not. Uh, the the options aren't great. Why no pickpocket? Yeah, I guess you could go pickpocket. That's true. That could be that could be a good one to play instead of barkeep because it costs two mana. And you're mostly always just going to be trading with it. But if for some reason it doesn't trade, but you have removal. I I could see that. I could definitely see that. I guess I didn't I didn't really think of pickpocket to be honest. I was try I was thinking of something a little bit more. Yeah, I was, I was really looking at like threes and stuff, but yeah, pickpocket could be the card. I think that's good. I think that's, I think that's a good change because pickpocket's a good blocker too. You know, like they're both three twos. Like it, it can trade uh, with a whole lot of stuff being a three two. So yeah, that that takes away one four drop from your hand. Okay, I like it. And you can even, uh, you know, you can even do like the standalone with the pickpocket also. You can do that too. Okay, cool. It is kind of like baby baby henchman. That's true. You sump works map the pickpocket and then create some spells. Okay, yeah, I, I like I like the pickpocket. That was one I just overlooked when I was putting it together. Um, yeah, I like that. That would that would uh, help free up the four mana slot a little bit there. All right. Um, 
Anyway, uh, that's it here for Henchman Copy. So uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the deck. And if you try it out, um, you know, let me know how it goes. Because this was, you know, it's a pretty sweet little challenge here trying to make a, a Mid and Stoke Henchman deck. All right, but that's it here for Henchman Copy. Uh, again, this was a, you know, a donation deck. If you have an idea like this, if you want to see me make a deck, you know, even, you know, it doesn't have to be um, a super competitive uh, deck, you know, like, you know, like this, like with henchmen. So if you, if there's something that you want me to try to, you know, any cards you want me to try to build around, uh, you know, it's just a $10 donation. The donation links are down in the, uh, info there on YouTube. Um, but that's it here for henchmen copy. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.